Okay, so we were looking at this first aid kit here and from their product details down here we determined that this product is selling very well but we also determined that this product is too heavy and it is really too big. We really want something smaller and less bulky than this. So the next step is to find out whether or not it's even possible to sell first aid kits within the criteria that we are looking for. So what we can do is we can go and look at all first aid kits by going along the bottom here. We're looking for first aid kits. So that's right here. And now we can see all the best sellers in first aid kits. So let's take a quick look here. I'm kind of getting the idea that first aid kits are not going to work out for what we want. Let's take a quick look at one more first aid kit. How about this one here because it's ultra light. Scrolling on down to the product details. Now first of all what we can see before we even look at the size of this or the weight is that the BSR here has dropped away down to over 10,000 in sports and outdoors. So even though this is still a bestseller in first aid kits, it's not far enough up the list of best-selling first aid kits. Let's go back. It was actually way down the bottom. So number 20 on the first page of first aid kits. And the one we looked at originally was right up here. I believe this is the one. This was 722, the BSR was 722, which was excellent. But by the time we get away down here, the BSR has dropped a way, way down to 10,000 plus. And that BSR is not good enough. We want something round about 3,000 or under, 4,000, even 5,000 sometimes is okay in certain very high volume categories. Sports and outdoor is definitely one of the most high volume categories on Amazon. So we could even push up to 5,000, but not 10,000. That wouldn't give us enough sales. However, we still know that it is possible to have a good selling first aid kit, a first aid kit that would sell us enough units per day. But it really does seem that if we are to be able to charge more than $15.99 retail, that we're going to need a bigger first aid kit like these here. And these first aid kits are definitely going to be too bulky, if not too heavy. I'm going to click on this one and scroll on down to take a look at the dimensions. And this is two pounds shipping weight and the product dimensions are 10 inches by three by eight inches. So it's both too heavy and too bulky. The BSR of this is still good, but we know the size is not going to work out. I think now we can conclude that first aid kits are not going to work out for what we want, not going to fit in with our criteria. So back to the drawing board. I'm going to stay with camping and hiking. I'm going to stay with the same subcategory safety and survival. And this time I'm going to try emergency fire starters. I'm just scanning the page here, looking at the prices. Some of the best sellers do seem to be priced fairly low, below our cutoff point, which is $15.99. And when you're scanning the page, one way to quickly see if an item is popular is looking at the number of reviews. So what we can see here is that this product here, this is $17.95, so that's okay. It has 94 reviews, which is pretty good. This one here has 14 reviews, but it might just be that this is a newer product so it, it may be an item that has been listed very recently and therefore doesn't have a lot of reviews so we can't always go by that but just when you're scanning the page sometimes it helps just to pick out items that have you know a lot of reviews a hundred reviews or more than a hundred reviews and then you know you have an idea that this is an item that is at least selling fairly well I'm going to take a look at this one here. 
These are fire starter rods and it's a two pack. That's okay. Let's take a look at the product details. The best seller's rank is 2057, which is fine. That's very, very good. This would be selling, I would estimate around about 30 plus units per day, maybe as much as 40 units per day. So this is doing very well. The weight is eight ounces, which is great. Remember we said we would really want under 10 ounces. That's best. And the product dimensions, six inches by half an inch by half an inch. That's excellent. It's a long, slim packet. So if you imagine how easily and how many of those could be packed into one packing carton, how small that would be. Because remember, we think about the dim, the dimensional weight, which means the dimensions of the carton, the packing carton when we're shipping from overseas. So this is an ideal size, really. All right, so far, what I'm seeing with these fire starter rods is that this is a possibility. This is something that I would research further. I would go to the next stage because we're not quite finished yet, although we, we have done really now a good part of the research. So what to do now when you get to this stage, you find something that fits the criteria. Take a note of the URL. Now the URL ends here. So you don't need all this here, all this ref equals and all this here this is all to do with the searches all to do with the way that i went first of all to department then i chose a sub department that kind of thing the url stops here so this here is actually what we call the asin that's the amazon identifying number and that's where the actual url ends you need to just take this bit here copy and paste this onto a spreadsheet so whether that be Microsoft Excel, if you have it, if you haven't, use either Apache OpenOffice, which is great, or Google Docs. So here we have it, something like this, just the URL, so a field for the URL, the product, what it actually is, a Firestarter rod, and the retail price.